Hey guys, um, I just had a trade on the uh, S&P. Um, it's been a rather slow day for me. I've only taken a couple of trades. Um, I took one this morning on the uh, on the S&P as well that um, that I had covered already. So I don't want to dive too much into that. But what I do want to do is cover the trade that I did just take. Um, so let's start off a little bit of a trend line there and this is the reason that I actually entered the early this morning too so early this morning I took from here down to here and um, oh, that, that one I already posted in the chat this one uh, we had some recent um, some recent resistance that had uh, kind of worked itself out right around these levels here this uh, 2371 anywhere from half to uh, three quarters um, and I was looking for a retest after we had gotten, uh, after we had completed this little move here. So we went from the low up, we got our pullback, and then we completed the negative 61.8. So uh, we completed our targets to the upside. And uh, that's when I, you know, that's why I got short this morning. And then I was waiting for a retest. Now, why was I waiting for a retest? Well, you can see that we we're trading into some structure here. We're trading into the... Um, into those two price levels and then if we take our high and we find the low that made on the day already you can see that we're trading right into that 78.6 so I ended up grabbing two things I ended up grabbing an out of the money strike on Nadex with the anticipation that would have a fill of this little wedge that's been going on here you can see that we're kind of squeezing we've got a nice little uptrend um, I didn't think it was done. I actually had a short bias, uh, which I had just explained. Um, so we failed to, you know, close above this. We failed to close above structure, and we were end up we ended up making a uh, a great short opportunity here. So I won't get but I didn't end up doing that. Um, as we, uh, you know, I had to step out for a minute. Um, pretty much mid trade, so really messed up my really messed up my live trade, but. Um, I ended up getting in right at the top. Nadex out of the money, I ended up getting a 2368, um, I believe it was 23, 2369. Yeah, 2369 out of the money. I, you know, it was really low cost. Um, and you can see that we're, we're back at that level. I shorted that and I shorted traditional futures as well. Uh, 2371 quarter was my entry. So I left a little bit on the table in terms of probably about a half of half a point's worth, so another $100, um, but 2371 quarter was my entry there, um, and literally I was just looking to trade back into structure, so my first target was to retrace all the way back down to the 50 retracement, there I would have been roughly about, um, you know, $50 of contracts, uh, on the out of the monies that I got, and that would have been about 20, roughly $20 con uh, profit per contract, and then as we traded down, I was looking for reactions around these levels. So I was looking for a reaction here, which we just kind of blew straight through. Then I was looking for a reaction here, um, oh, second, uh, a reaction at the trend line, which again we blew straight through, then a reaction here. And, um, you know, we pushed straight down past it. So I ended up taking the Nadex position off here at the negative 23.6. Um, actually, I took both positions off there at the negative 23.6. Um, you know, it's not my place to get greedy here. I'm decently happy with how everything turned out. So, um, again, I wanted to harp on the fact that, you know, the recording I made the other day where I, I kind of explained why I was, uh, why I was focused around out of the monies this week is because I wanted to answer those questions that were, you know, well, why do you trade the way you do? I wanted to show again that once you know, you know, once you know where the market's going to go and you know how to pick your spots, you can. You know, you can leverage um, things like an out of the money or like traditional futures here. So, you know, 1350 on this one, so roughly $2,500 between the two, and it was literally 15, 30, 45. It was under an hour of work. So, so I wanted to just highlight, you know, the importance of picking your spots, trading only the entries that have the, um, that have, you know, the edge defined for you. And, uh, and pretty much slapping in the face, right? I've, like I said, I've, I normally trade a heck of a lot more. It's been a slow week. Um, 
but I've still been able to make super profitable trades every day just because I'm picking the right spots. So as always, if you have any questions, comments, let me know. Um, and I will t catch you on chat.